Well, there was some welding, if you can call it that. Yeah, where'd my hammer go? Maybe that fixed my leak. I had a leak in it. Anyway, this is my gasifier that I what I've got so far. And it's coming right along. I had a few leaks. I put water in. I got it welded all the way around to begin with. Now I put water in. There's a little lip up in there that'll hold water. I put water in there and it leaked out right in this area. I don't know if I got it or not, but I'll do another test on it and figure it out. So far, that's what I've got for my gasifier. Of course, it is a propane tank. Cut a hole in the barrel. Besides the propane tank, it goes into a smaller pro propane tank for a reduction zone and it bells out with the bottom of the propane tank that I cut off. Uh, there are four inlets, draws air in and puts them into the burn zone and hopefully I'll be able to run the old GMC off. Here is what I've got so far for my back bumper. I've been working on it, welding it up and everything, and so far that is what I have. And I think that's probably going to be about it. I'll probably put some more reinforcement onto the hitch from the hitch, like right, right above the square part. I'm going to probably run a piece of metal across there and weld it on both sides but it's all welded on so far and it seems like it's holding up but I've done all this welding with the old uh, homemade welder here battery charger hooked to it because the uh, battery is shot That's what you get at Walmart I guess uh, that's about it oh yeah here is the barrel that the gasifier is gonna sit down into I have the outlet screwed on and I have high temperature RTV inside hopefully uh, there will be no leaks I'll raise my lid for my propane tank I'm going to do some more leak testing and uh, hopefully I can get this thing going and I'll show more progress of putting it together